definition of the vector product or cross product. Okay. If a vector A, A1i A plus A2j plus A3k and vector B plus B one i plus b two j plus b three k, then the vector product denoted by vector a cross eh, cross product vector b, okay, is defined in terms of the expansion of the determinant as follows. Okay, remember the matrices uh, chapter last time. Okay, uh, to find the determinant, okay, you need to arrange that the first row, the first row is Component I, component J, component K. And then the second row is the first one. Take all the component from vector A. A1, A2, A3. Okay. And the third row is take the second A cross B, take the second vector that is B1, B2, B3. Okay. Expand using the determinant of uh, matrices in the determinant. And you get the one is A to O. Okay. Recall, recall uh, how to find the determinant. Expand using the first row. The first row. The first row. And then I times A to A3, B to B3 minus the J, J times a1, A3, B1, B3 plus component K. Okay, find the determinant of A1, A2, B1, B2. This is minor actually. Okay, this is minor. Okay, and then... Um, so uh, from the first uh, the first term this one minor minor expand minor a2 times b3 minus a3 times b2 i then component i minus a1 times b3 minus a3 times b1 for component j j plus a1 times b2 minus a2 uh, times V1 for component K. Okay, you may skip this step. Okay, that's right that one. Okay, then Okay, if theta is the angle between vector A then vector B then you can say that vector A cross product vector B is equal to modulus vector A times modulus vector B times sine theta times you had uh, you had is a unique vector okay you had is a unique vector in the direction perpendicular to the plane containing and uh, vector a and vector b and is defined as okay a unique vector is equal to vector a cross vector b over my two of vector a cross vector b okay and Let's say if you substitute this value to in the in the formula, okay, what we get? Okay, vector this one to this, this formula, and you get vector A cross vector B is equal to vector A minus vector B sine theta substitute substitute. Uh, vector A cross vector B over magnitude vector A cross magnitude vector B. Then simplify. Simplify, say that you can cross cancel these two terms and bring this one to up. Okay, to left. And let's see, uh, you can, uh, we can get vector A cross vector B is equal to modulus vector A modulus vector B sine theta. Okay, and then you remember this formula or uh, this formula. Okay, modulus, modulus vector A cross vector B equals modulus vector A times modulus vector B sine theta. Okay.
Okay, to determine the direction of vector A cross vector B, uh, normally we use right hand rule where the fingers turn from vector A to vector B at the time points the direction of vector A cross vector B. Okay, so you can get this one. Okay, so that this is um, vector A, vector B. Theta is angle between two vectors. If you do cross product, the product of the cross product is perpendicular to vector A and vector B. Okay? Perpendicular to vector A and vector B. Theta, theta is a angle. Okay? Means that theta doesn't mean that 90 degree. But the product of this vector, this vector, suppose perpendicular to vector B and perpendicular to vector A. Uh, note that the direction of rotation is significant. And, okay, this is vector B cross vector A is equal to negative vector A cross vector B. Or, I write in this form, eh? negative A cross B. Okay. Then, uh, okay, you can see this one, this uh, uh, diagram fingers is in the direction from vector A to B A to B thumb points in direction of vector A cross vector B okay this is vector A vector B then the thumb is the direction eh, 90 degree look at the example 1 given vector A I plus j plus k and vector b i minus 3j plus 2k find vector a cross vector b and the second part is 3 vector a cross 2 vector b hence prove that vector a cross vector b is perpendicular to the vector a okay this vector is perpendicular to vector a Let's say the product of the two this vector is equal to vector C. So we need to show vector C is perpendicular to vector A. So what is C? C is a product of A cross B. Okay. Show that this one is perpendicular to vector A. Okay, we do part A first. Okay. Uh, vector A cross vector B, arrange like to find the determinant and make sure that the first row is component I, J, K. The second row is the, all the coefficient for vector A, the first one, eh, the first one, I, uh, 1, 1, 1, followed by the third row is the, all this component, coefficient of the component I, J, K. And using the find the minor, okay, I, okay, take this one minor, 1, 1, negative 3, 2, minus J, 1, 1, 1, 2, plus, K, 1, 1, 1, negative 3, and expand, 1 times 2, 2, minus, minus 3, I minus 2 minus 1, J plus 1 times 23, negative 3 minus 1 times 1, 1, K. Then 2 plus 3 is equal to 5, I minus J minus 4, K. So here uh, the name is vector product or um, vector product or cross vector product means that the product of the uh, two vectors when we cross product okay we get that one's also a vector that one that's why we call this is vector product Cross product. Why? Because of between 
A, vector A, vector B is cross, cross product. Okay, vector product. Okay, make sure the answer is in vector, not in scalar. Okay. Okay, and then for the second part, B, 3 times vector A, okay, we have to find uh, times 3 for all the components, cross product 2 times vector B, so times 2 all the components, and then uh, find the cross product, make sure change all in the permanent form. The first row always I, J, K, component I, J, K. Then, the second row is the first one, okay? So, uh, vector A is I plus J plus K times 3. You get 3, 3, 3. And vector uh, 2B get 2, negative 6, 4. Okay, expand the determinant. And the last, you get the answer. Make sure this is a vector. Because of course, product. Produce what? Okay. Then uh, maybe you can simplify to the six, the right six, okay, and in bracket parenthesis, vector A cross vector B. Okay, settle. From the previous lesson, we know that vector A cross vector B is perpendicular to vector A if we can show that. The two vectors, when using the, use the dot product, okay, it produce zero. Okay, and then we need to show, to show the, okay, uh, to show vector A cross vector B perpendicular to vector A, to show vector A cross vector B dot vector A is equal to zero. Yeah, we need to show is equal to zero. Okay. Okay, so uh, for vector A cross vector B, the answer is 5i minus j minus 4k. This is for the result uh, from the uh, cross product from uh, vector A vector B. And this is for component for vector A. Or maybe we can change to matrix form. 5 minus 1 minus 4, 1, 1, 1. Component I times component I plus component J times component J plus negative 4 times 1. And then 5 minus 1 minus 4 is equal to 0. So when you get 0, it shows that, therefore, vector A cross vector B, this one, A, is perpendicular to vector A. Done. Okay. Okay. Next, we find the properties of vector product. Okay, if vector A, vector B, and C are vectors, okay, M is a scalar, then first, vector A cross vector A equals 0. Why? Because of, let's say, change to determinant form, okay, say that vector A is 1, 1, 1, the A, so 1, 1, 1, so, if the same row, the determinant is equal to 0. Okay? And B, uh, now second, uh, vector A cross vector B equals negative vector B cross vector A. Why? Because of, say that uh, this vector, I, J, K, K for a1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3. Okay, if we change row, change row or change colon, okay, that's why it's equal to, okay, I, J, K, change row, B, uh, row with the B, with the second row, uh, 
um, by the third row. So B1, B2, B3, A1, A2, A3. So, suppose that is negative. Okay, negative. If can any row or any column for the determinant, suppose the right negative. Okay. For the third uh, property, okay, this is uh, the modulus. Modulus, modulus. Modulus refer to distance, positive. Whatever you find vector A cross vector B, find modulus is equal, the value is equal, okay, when you find vector B cross vector A, modulus, okay. For the uh, property 4, vector A cross, okay, vector B plus or minus vector C. This one, okay, is equal to vector A cross vector B, Plus or minus vector A cross vector C. Okay. Property 5. M is a scalar. Okay. Uh, times vector A cross vector B. Okay. You can uh, find. Okay. You can use. Uh, you can times M times vector A first. Then cross plus vector B. Or M scalar times vector B. Then cross uh, a cross A, B. Okay. For the uh, property, property 6, okay, vector A dot vector B. Okay. Vector A dot, okay, in parenthesis, vector B cross vector C is equal to vector A, vector A cross vector B dot C. That's why you remember. Okay. Then, uh, the property 7, vector A cross B cross C, this one first, is equal to vector A dot vector C, vector A dot vector C is scalar product, dot product, um, constant, times a vector B, minus vector A dot vector B, constant, times vector C. Okay, you still need to remember the uh, property. Property 8, vector A cross vector B is equal to 0 if vector A is parallel to vector B. Okay, so for this one, if you remember this formula, the modulus vector A cross vector B is equal to modulus vector A Modulus vector B sine theta. Okay. When parallel, parallel, theta is equal to 0 degree. Same direction. Opposite direction, theta equals 180. Substitute 0 or 180. Sine 0 is equal to 0. Sine 180 also 0. 0 times modulus A must be 0. Or we can say that vector A cross vector B is equal to C. Okay? Means that if you want to show the two vectors parallel, you can take this statement. Okay? Use this property. Okay? Example 2. Show that vector A dot okay, A the A cross with the C is equal to 0. Okay, solution. By using property, okay, this property, okay, with the A dot B cross C equals A cross B dot C, substitute. So, compare, compare, compare. Now, A is equal to B. With the A is equal to B. Compare, then substitute. Okay, now B is equal to A. B is equal to A. So, next step, using the property, vector A cross vector B is equal to 0 if A is parallel to B. Okay, A parallel to B. Okay, A parallel to A. This one is equal to 0. A, A parallel to A, confirm, is equal to 0. So, we can say that 
vector A dot vector A cross C is equal to 0. This is 0 dot C. Or this one is equal to 0. That's shown. Okay? Shown. Settle.